Okay, a carbon wire of initial radius 3 millimeters is increasing in radius over its length with the equation let's do this way, a little r of x. The temperature is 38 Celsius again. And we'll make the length similar. Let's make the length something like that, like 18.3 centimeters. So this pro example will illustrate to us uh, we're going to use a carbon, so its, uh, it's uh, resistivity is going to decrease as a function of temperature. And it also shows us a case where the radius is not necessarily constant. You can have a wire that's increasing in radius. Its initial radius is uh, 3 millimeters. And we can find its length is given as 18.3 centimeter. And we can find its final length. And then using calculus, we're going to integrate and find the resistance of this uh, resistor. So this will show us how to do that. OK, did anyone get an answer for the other problem? It was just put a matter of putting all that in and getting an answer. Zero, zero, one. Very small, huh? So he's saying you got 0 0.01, and then that's going to be ohms. Is the others got that too? One hundredth of an ohm, so small resistor. Okay, so what we do in this case is we take an element of the wire, a little element, its length is dx, and its radius is uh, r, right? So we take a little element and we say the resistance of that is rho, so the d dr is equal to rho dl over a. The, air, the surface area of that. But the surface areas are increasing, right? So the DL is going to be my DX. That's the, length of the, that's the length of the little piece. 
Now the rho is going to be changing because of the temperature. So the rho is equal to, uh, what's the, my rho zero? For the, uh, now I'm using carbon, right? So let's go back to that table. 3.5 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so uh, that's my uh, row zero, and then one plus alpha, and my alpha was negative, right? Negative 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3, and 38 minus 20. So this is my row. All this, all this thing is just my row. Row zero, one, this is alpha, 38 minus uh, 20. dx is just dx. And then what's my air area A? A is the pi r squared, right? Point 0.8 e to the x. And notice here how the equation that I give you, um, let's see. Uh, oh no, you know what? I should give you here, if, in order for this to match with that, I should give you what? 2.2, right? In other words, the equation should give you, should justify that. The problem is telling us the, uh, the radius, the initial radius is 3 millimeters. So if I put here x is 0, what do I get? E to the uh, 0 is uh, 1, right? So 0.8 plus 2.2 .2 is what? 3. So the initial radius it needs to work out to be 3. What's the final radius? Could we calculate that? So what would we need to put here? Well, you see the notice here, there's, this one is in uh, meters. I mean, this one is centimeters. This one is, uh, so if this, is, uh, if this is in millimeter, this is millimeter, this is millimeter, this needs to be either the, um, You know what, uh, it needs to be so that uh, cause if we change this to millimeter and put it over there, it's going to be 183 millimeters, right? So it's going to be uh, either the, that's going to be huge radius. So in order to work out, let's got to be, uh, let's do it this way. Let's do it so that this whole thing gives us in meters. So here, let's do it like this. So, uh, and then the x needs to be in meters, right? That would make more sense. So this is in uh, 10 to the minus 3 is uh, the millimeter. So the x needs to be in meter. Uh, so this one is going to be what then? Our final of uh, our final of x is going to be 0.8 uh, e to the uh, 0.183. So e 0.8 e to the uh, 0.183 uh, meters plus 2.2. That's better. Yeah. Three point three point one six times ten to the minus three. So three point one six millimeters. So